Hey guys, it's Luke from Retro Revival here, and I'm back, and um, I'm sorry I've been away so long, I've just been enjoying life really, um, I've been collecting a lot of games, and I haven't been showing them off, sorry, so um, if you if you want to see the game that I bought recently, um, I can make a video on them if you want, uh, one of the consoles that I've been collecting for recently, and the console I got back in November for my birthday is for the N64, and there's all my N64 games there, and I will be making an N64 video quite soon, so keep an eye out for that. But today I want to be talking about something I got way back in November, and this is the Simon X5SC drone. Yeah, so here's the drone, it's, um, it's quite lightweight really, and um, it's I paid about 40 quid for it, which is fairly good for something of this size. And it comes with a load of prop guards. It's extremely easy to put together, but a lot of the um, instructions don't translate very well into English. So that is something you need to watch out for. But I also put on these legs, and they fit really well. So it came with it. And also, there's a camera. And later on in the video, I'll show you some of my flying. I am absolute dog crap at flying. Um, but soon I should be making a video with my friend um, called Kube FPV on YouTube and he flies drones and does other little RC videos as well so check him out and subscribe to his channel um, yeah but soon we should be making a collab together and he's going to teach me how to fly because I suck at flying so um, this can take pictures, I don't know any of the stats guys um, so I'll, I'll put loads of the things in the description below if you want to find out more and um, something I like is it comes with I don't know if you can see it in that slot there. Um, it comes with a 4 gigabyte memory card, and also it opens up in the back, and that's where you keep the battery. I can get it out. There it is. Uh, I don't know. But how powerful this is, so I'm not really a technology guy, but, oh, it's 3.7 volts, so I don't know if you need to know that, but that slides in nicely in that slot right there, and then it closes up, like so. Personally, something I find quite interesting with game consoles and RC vehicles is one of these, and this is the controller and it feels very high quality and it's quite easy to fly this is the throttle and you set it you just go flip down click up and then flip flip back down again and then you can use the throttle and then that's to turn or to move it in the air on its uh, on its uh, axis and it's actually got a six gyro um, axis and there you just turn it on and it starts bleeping got to turn it on the drone as well, a little switch on the bottom for that, and then as you do, you set it, and you can see the lights stop flashing, if my drone was on, I could fly it, just by using that, but yeah, and this, this button here, actually lets you take pictures and take videos, and I have never seen what the video looks like on this, so what you're going to see is what I've literally just seen whilst I'm editing. So, I don't know if it's going to be very good quality, probably not, and it's taking my parents' room, so, yeah, so, you're going to see that now. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that footage, I don't have a clue what it looks like, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this review. Um, as I said at the start, check out my friend's channel. It's called Kube FPV, and um, I'll link him down in the description. Also, he's in my channels list if you go on my page. Um, yeah, so, hope you enjoyed this review. If you'd like to see more reviews, click that like button and say so in the comments section below. And um, I'm back. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching this video, 
I've been Luke from Retro Revival, and I'll see you all later. Bye.